Hey guys, this is just Mr. Grice for Algebra 1, Unit 2.3 Notes. Today we're talking about graphing horizontal and vertical lines. Our learning target today is to be able to graph and write equations of horizontal and vertical lines. So we're going to be talking about three different type of lines today. The first one is a diagonal line. Okay, diagonal lines, what their equations contain is an x and y variable, okay? So they will have an x and a y variable. That's what we've been showing when we've been doing those table of and the graphs. And you can graph them by using a table of values, which we've done. And things that uh, we will learn later, that's what this part is right here, we'll learn later. Uh, x and y intercepts and using slope and y intercept. Okay. Now, a vertical line, the equation only has an x variable. Okay. Now, a vertical line is straight up and down. Okay. Vertical line, always straight up and down. Okay. And a horizontal line has a y variable. Okay, and a horizontal line goes from side to side. Okay, now some of you guys might be like, uh, Mr. Guys, I really don't know the difference between a vertical line and a horizontal line. Okay, when I think of vertical, I think of that V. Okay, and the V is straight up and down. All right. Now the word horizon, the H, is side to side. Okay. And Ms. Carranza always likes to draw a little. It's a little sun. There it is. We on the horizon. Okay. So that's for horizontal. Okay. There we go. So those are your two differences between those two. Okay. Now. For both of those, we're going to be using a table of values to graph them. So, graph the following equations using a table of values and use at least three points. Now, the first thing we'd like to take a look at right here is y, okay? y equals 2. So everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put a 2, okay? And now for the x's, you can pick any numbers that you want to. But we're always going to say just negative 1, 0, and 1. Because we want a positive, a negative, and 0. Okay? So negative 1, 2 is right there. 0, 2 is right there. And 1, 2 is right there. And once we're done with that, you guys need to get out your straight edge. I'm taking mine out right now. So we can draw that line. And every line has to have our little arrows on it. Okay? All right. Next one. X. So my X is 3. And once again, pick any number. Okay? Negative 1, 0, and 1. So we've got 3, negative 1, 3, 1, and three zero. So those are my three points. And then the last step is to draw your line. Okay. I made that one just a little bit dark, darker. I'm going to come back over here and do the same thing. All right. Next one. What's Y? Negative four. Okay. So it's a y equals graph, so I should know that this is going to be horizontal. Okay, I should have written this for these other ones. It's x equals, so it's vertical. It's y equals, so it's horizontal. Okay, those are just some simple reminders for yourself. Okay, and then negative 1, 0, and 1. Let's go ahead and graph that. We've got negative 4 negative 1, negative 4, 0, and negative 4, 1. We've got our line. 
and let's draw it. Okay, that's not too bad, is it? Why don't you guys try four all on your own? Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and there's our line. Now, number five and number six can be a little tricky, okay? And the only reason is because what it actually equals, okay? So y equals zero. When it's y equals, it's horizontal. And we've got negative one, zero, and one. The only reason why it's tricky is because it's a horizontal line but it's also on the x-axis, okay? So when you're doing these, you have to be very deliberate and make sure I can tell that there's an actual line on that axis, okay? <laughs> and now that's going to be the same exact thing with this one because it's an x equals graph, so I know it's vertical, okay, and it's vertical on the y-axis, okay? So as we just draw those points, we got 0, negative 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1. Okay? And then just draw your line using your straight edge. And make sure to draw your arrows. Okay? All right. Let's move on down. Now, the next part says to write the equation for the line in the graph. So now we're working backwards. They've already given us the line. Well, what's the equation? Okay, so the best way to start off with this is just kind of pick three points on here. They can be anywhere. And then tell me what they are. Well, that's negative 2, negative 1. 0, negative 1. Uh, that's 3, negative 1. And then if you look at it, look closely, what's all the same? Uh, y is all the same, and y equals negative 1. Okay? Let's do the same thing for 8. You can pick any three points. Okay, we've got negative 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, negative 1, 0, and negative 1, negative 2. What's all the same? x is all the same. So x equals negative 1. All right, number 9, why don't you pause the video and do that one all on your own. Good luck. Okay, you might have picked different points for me, but we should have the same equation that we get x equals 2. Okay, now, did you notice something about all those equations? Well, right away, you should know if the line is horizontal or vertical, okay? Like 10. 10 is a vertical line. And if it's a vertical line, you'd know that it's an x equals graph. So now we have to do is, well, where does it equal that? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x equals negative 5. And that's the shortcut to these. It's like number 11. Number 11, I know it's horizontal. Okay, and from our definition on the other side, we know that a horizontal line is a y equals graph. Okay, and it's at 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, why don't you guys do number 12 right now? Hopefully you're saying it's a horizontal line, and if it's a horizontal line, it's y equals, and it's at y equals negative 5. Okay? All right, cumulative review. Now, in class, we kind of did this on our own, but I'm going to go through these. So, for number one, it says plot point A in quadrant 3 and point B in quadrant 1. You pick the coordinates, but make sure you label each point, okay? Okay? So you can do different points than me or the same points than me, okay? I know that's one, that's quadrant two, there's quadrant three, there's quadrant four, okay? 
So A is going to be in quadrant 3, and B is in quadrant 1. So A, my point for A was negative 3, negative 2, and B, I said that was at 4, 1. All right, 2 says to graph a line through the points 3, negative 2, and negative 1, 4. So what we need to do is to graph those 3, negative 2, there's my first one, and negative 1, positive 4. It's asking us to graph a line, so we need to draw a line. And all lines have the arrows. Number 3. If you want to try pausing number 3 and try it on your own, go ahead and do that right now. Alright, for number 3, it says to graph a line through the point negative 4, 3, and a vertical line through 2, negative 1. And what is their intersection point? So let's take a look at this first one, okay? Horizontal line through negative 4, 3. Well, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 3 is right there, and it told me to graph a horizontal line, okay? So there it is. Now the next one is saying to draw a vertical line through 2, negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is right there, and I'm going to graph a vertical line. And they want to know what's our intersection point, and it's that guy right there. And where those guys meet is 2, 3. Alright, number 4. Number 4 says to graph y equals 1 fourth x minus 3 by using a table of values. Now, remember, table of values, when we have a fraction, we want to count by that fraction. So that would be 4, 8, negative 4, negative 8. This is a really good review question, and I want you guys to do this one all on your own. So go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, there you go. Now remember, if yours doesn't make a nice straight line, you did something wrong. Okay, if you have a squiggly line, we're going to mark it wrong. If you don't have the arrow on it, we're marking it wrong. Okay? Alright, number five. Graph x equals 8 and y equals negative 6 by using a table of values for each equation. Alright, so that means a table of values you are draw drawing right now Oh, this is acting up real quick. Hold on. Okay, so to make a table of values, we need to write down x equals 8 and make our little table. 8, 8, 8, y equals negative 6. Negative 6, negative 6, negative 6. Go ahead and fill that out. Pause the video and draw your line. Okay, and there you go. Those You might have different points than I do, but we will have the same exact line. Okay, and then six, the last one, identify the domain and range. Uh, then decide if the relation is a function and explain why. So just remember the domain is your x and the range is your y. We write those in increasing order and then say whether it's a function or not. Okay, so the last one, you're all on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so there are your answers for domain and range. And now, it's not a function, because look at, okay, if you were to draw a line, it fails right there because it touches it twice or just because those lines, they're right above each other. And we know if that happens, we don't have a function. Okay, guys, well, that's it for Algebra 1, Unit 2.3 Notes. 
If you have any questions, please come see Ms. Kranz or myself. Otherwise, thanks for watching.